All right, we are beginning our intensity design project. And you should have your design drawn on paper. So you can see here, I have my design. It's all drawn on the sheet. Um, I have filled the space with my designs. Um, they're overlapping. And I've included my nine scale, nine tone intensity scale. So what I'm going to do now is choose which of my three complementary color pairs I'm going to use for this project. So these are my color options. I can do the yellow and purple, remembering that um, either yellow works for the yellow, and that I'll need to make my own purple using the cool blue and the cool red. Another option is to do the orange and the blue. Remember, we're using the warm red as our orange, and you can use either blue. In this case, I have used the warm blue, which is the top blue. Or you may choose red and green, and for the red, we're using the pinky red, and you do have a green in your palette that you are able to use. So these then become the colors that you get to choose from. So I am going to start painting, um, painting my intensity scale first. So I'm just going to take my sheet and I'm going to put it over the top of my sketchbook so that I have a little bit of uh, paper protection. I'm going to pick which of the uh, color pairs I think I like the color scheme of best and I'm going to just put some clean water on those two colors. So I'm going to go ahead and do orange and blue. Uh, I'm going to need to clean off a little spot on my palette in order to have room to mix my colors. So I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of this blue from the other day. So I just dipped my paper towel in some water and I'm just cleaning this little spot out. So I'm going to use this space as my mixing space today. So I'm going to just go ahead and start by pulling some orange off the pile and I'm going to move it out here onto my palette. And while I have clean orange, I'm going to go ahead and paint my first space on my project because that will just need to be plain old orange, right? I need to paint this intensity scale first. I'm gonna grab a little bit of extra orange before I clean my brush off. And I'm gonna grab some of this blue and I'm just gonna put it over here in this opposite corner. And while I have clean blue, I'm gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing. I'm going to very carefully paint this end space in on my painting and then I'm going to go ahead and wash my paintbrush off again. I'm getting kind of a lot of extra water so I'm going to just get some of the extra water off. So it doesn't matter to me which which way um, this middle one will be the one that's like the gray or the brown and all four of these will be versions of blue all four of these will be versions of orange so that's the thing to remember so I'm going to come back and I'm going to start with my orange side and I'm just going to grab like, oh, the tiniest bit of the blue or I'm going to clean my paintbrush off and try that again because I dumped orange in my blue instead of grab orange blue for my orange. And right away I see that I grabbed too much blue, went all the way to brown. So I have this all the way brown color that I don't want right now. So I'm going to clean my paintbrush off. Remember we, we adjust. We don't just say, oh, well, it's wrong. We go, okay, I'm going to fix it. I think now I have just enough. Yep, it's just enough a little bit blue. So I'm going to be really careful to not bump my colors together. So I'm going to leave these little white gaps here on my intensity scale so that I can paint from one color to the next. So I'm going to grab just a little bit more blue that feels the same to me. I'm going to grab a little bit more. There we went. One little bit darker. 
Again, I'm going to be really careful by that edge so that I don't bump my wet colors together or just all make some mess. And now I'm going to paint this next one. Again, I'm just going to grab a little bit more of my blue. Oh, I turned it all the way to black. So that means I need more of the orange. So I'm going to clean my paintbrush off. I'm going to grab some more orange. Now it's too much orange. I'm going to grab a little more blue, a little more blue, a little more blue, just a tiny bit more blue. Let's see if that looks darker. Yep, it's definitely the next color darker. So you can see I'm kind of, oh, it's maybe not as darker as I wanted it to be. So I'm going to grab just a tiny bit more blue. And now I'm just kind of stirring that in here on my sheet just to make it a little bit darker. There we go. And now I need the one that is just black because this um, this color combination actually makes a really lovely black. So I just mixed in a little more blue from this super dark like brown orange brown and now I have this black color. All right so now I'm going to start over from my blue side I'm going to clean my paintbrush off and I'm going to do the opposite thing. I'm going to take my blue out here on my palette, clean my paintbrush off again, make a little pile of orange. And now I'm going to just take a little bit of this orange and put it into my blue. I'm trying to see if it got too dark. Oh, I think it's probably okay. It feels one step darker than the blue that's just right out of the tray. So I'm going to go ahead and paint that on there. And now I'm going to do the same again. I'm going to grab just a little bit more orange and put it in. Making sure I want it to still be blue, but I want it to get one step darker blue than the last one. Being careful not to bump my colors into each other because this is all very wet right now. And my last one, a little bit of bump more orange. And I just want to make sure that it's still blue and hasn't gone all the way to that black color that we have in the middle. And also that it doesn't look the same as the last color that I painted, right? I want them to all be different. All right, so there is my intensity scale, okay? This gives me all the colors that I'm going to use in my painting. I cannot do this project with only orange and only blue. I need to make sure that I'm using all of these, but I also need to make sure that I'm lightening and darkening some of the colors. So I have this darkest of the blue in my paintbrush right now. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead. I grabbed a little bit of water and I'm just going to paint a couple of spots. You will need to jump around on this project because I can't like I can't paint this next circle down now um, with that with any color because these are wet and I also can't paint it because this is wet but you can see that I can paint some um, because I can kind of skip around to start with. Now, where my shapes overlap, I have to decide. Do I want this to be a different color than here, or do I want to ignore or erase some of these lines and have one shape overlap the other? That is my own personal artistic decision. I get to decide. Um, remember, too, that you are also working to practice some of those painting techniques. So, for instance... I'm going to paint with this really dark black right here and I'm going to do a graded wash. So I'm going to grab some water 
and lighten it up. I'm going to grab some more water and keep lightening it up so that I have that graded wash effect. It will be dark on the one side and light on the other side. Oops, almost more of a wet into wet effect there. So I'm going to just kind of pull, I can squeeze my paintbrush dry and I'm going to just kind of pull some of this water out. But either way works, right? Wet into wet is also something that I'll need to show that I can do. Just trying to pull some of this color down. I'm also trying to get some of this puddle off of here. So there you go. And I'm just going to keep painting. Like, oops, here, this, I got orange paint on here when I was mixing. No big deal. I'm going to need to use orange on some of my shapes. So I'm going to go ahead and right now I have to decide, right? Am I overlapping my shapes or am I going to paint these separate colors? Like I said, that, that is, that's your personal artistic decision. You get to pick which way you're going to do it. Um, I think I'm going to have my shapes overlap each other. So I want this one to be in front of these other two. But I'm going to have it go under this one. So I'm going to stop right here. So you can see when I want to have my edges stay nice and clean, I'm like kind of outlining my shape first. And then I'm going to go back and fill my shape in with paint. So that'll be the first shape that I've painted that's just the plain orange. The other two are some of those mixed colors. And I'm just going to go ahead and keep painting today, knowing that I'm going to have to skip around. Um, and then remembering that this isn't due until the end of class on Monday. So I do have a few more chances to keep painting on this. And the reason for that is reason one, I want you to spend about three hours working on this. It's not possible for you to finish this in less than three hours. And reason two is because all of our shapes are right next to each other, we have to have time to let the paint dry before we do the next steps. So go ahead and finish your design and then paint your intensity scale first. When your intensity skill is finished, you then have a plan for the colors and you can start using some of those colors out in your design, but you're going to need to skip around the same way I've done a little bit.